Hello, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading starting the week of May the 1st up until May the 8th. This is a timeless reading, so no matter the date, there is an angel message here for you. Also, please remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the video. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right Right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love blessings and abundance for your love and support and for personal readings I now have openings so please do check the description box below without further ado let's go ahead and jump into your spread wow I'm so excited Libras happy happy May 2020 I cannot believe we are already here wow time just flies by so so quickly Okay, I'm going to start calibrating to your energies, my dear Libras. Thank you so much, my spirit guides, my angels, for providing any messages that my beautiful Libras are currently seeking at this moment. Any guidance that they are here seeking hopefully comes through during their reading, okay? All right, let's get this started. And now also please remember that energies are fluid, like I mentioned. Okay, so if I'm not talking about your energy, it's possible that I'm picking up on the energy of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand, okay? It could also possibly be uh, potential energies that have not occurred yet, okay? So always, always take it as it resonates and remember that this can also be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus. And my dearest Libras, you are starting this week for the month of May 2020 with the dominant energy of the, wow, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so here with the Four of Pentacles, you know, I'm picking up on this energy where someone is still closed off emotionally, okay? Their heart chakra is still closed off. They're not opening up to anyone, to anything, to any opportunities. Right now, this person is still feeling stuck in that energy, okay? Whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with, this person is not willing to communicate, is not willing to open up right now emotionally, okay? Okay, uh, maybe something happened to this person in the past. Maybe there, uh, there has been a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, um, or just simply, you know, not ready to to open up to to anything brand new. Okay, or to a person from their past. But take it as it resonates. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So for your situation, what we have here, wow, yeah. So, okay, here we have the hangman in the reverse. So someone is being a little bit stubborn about making some kind of a sacrifice, okay? Could possibly be that someone who is still feeling blocked off emotionally is unwilling to open up, okay? That could be a possibility, whether it's you or the person that you are dealing with, my dear Libras. Okay, someone here is being a little bit stubborn in their energy. They're not willing to open up. They're not willing to make some kind of a change, some kind of a sacrifice. Okay, we're going to figure out what exactly that is. But here we have for your challenge. Yeah, see, your challenge position here, we have a disconnect in a relationship. There was stability. Perhaps you wanted their, uh, you wanted this uh, relationship or situation to bear fruit, to bear stability to bear some kind of a long-term potential however the challenge still remains this week okay that there is still a disconnect in this situation um, having to do with some kind of a commitment it could also be monetary okay if one person or the other is perhaps um, a little bit unstable in their finances but we're gonna figure out what exactly this is so here for your beliefs yeah exactly the seven of Pentacles in the reverse someone is ready to give up someone is ready to give up they feel like they've invested the effort they've invested the emotions they've invested the time into the situation, into this connection, or into this person, and guess what? Now they are ready to move on, okay? Whether this is how you are feeling or this is the person that you are dealing with. There's one person in the situation that is feeling ready to give up, okay? And they're like unwilling to invest any more. It's sort of like that stubborn en energy, you know? Like it's like, okay, well, you know what? Uh, I've already done enough. I've already texted. I've already called. I've already emailed, whatever. You know, if this person does not want to uh, reciprocate in the same way that I have done, then 
there's just gonna be a closing off of my heart and my emotions and even maybe communication, okay? So take it as it resonates, whether this is you or the person that you are dealing with. But here for the root of the issue, yep, exactly. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but here we have uh, the death card, okay? So the death card here at the root of the issue, you know, I'm picking up heavily on this energy that, you know, um, there there is, it, whether there was an ending, uh, excuse me, either whether there was an ending to the situation, okay, which it looks like there was, okay, some kind of disconnect, some kind of, um, uh, it could also be miscommunication, all right, it doesn't have to be like an actual breakup, it could just be like a fight that you guys had, an argument, some kind of disconnect, okay, that drew both of you guys apart, okay, but definitely here, with the death card, you know, the root of the issue remains. Um, there's something that is either ending or wanting to end or someone wants to end something. That's the type of energy that is coming through, okay? Now, here what we have for the recent past. Yeah, so a heartbreak, see? Someone is still trying to get over this heartbreak, okay? It could have possibly be a third party. It doesn't have to be. But here with the Three of Swords and the Reverse in the recent past, something very, very painful happened, okay? Whether uh, this person hurt you, this person broke your heart, this person shattered your heart, you know? Uh, maybe you gave too much and this person did not reciprocate or there was a third party involved. Take it as it resonates, okay? But definitely there was some kind of a heartbreak, okay? That has to do with this disconnect here, okay? Maybe that's the possibility why one or the other person is unwilling to open up emotionally. But, you know, it looks like somebody will be coming out of this situation uh, very, very soon. Wow, look at this. Reunion. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> That was a twist, a plot twist. Okay, so here we have the three of cups in your near future. So guess what? Um, you know, plot twist. Yes, maybe the root of the issue is, you know, somebody wanting to end something, but it looks like there's going to be a reunion. Now, again, it could be um, for different uh, people. It could be a different situation. Now, it, it it is a general reading. So it could also possibly be that you might be meeting somebody new. Okay, it doesn't have to be the person from your past. It could just mean that this is going to be a union of some kind. Uh, maybe um, soon you will have a gathering. Maybe you will meet someone at the market. Maybe you will meet a friend. Maybe you will invite friends over to your place. Take it as it resonates. But it looks like there's going to be some kind of union or reunion. Okay, we're going to figure out which one it is. Wow, beautiful. Now, what we have here for your self-perception, what you need to know. Okay, yeah, exactly. So here we have the moon in the reverse. Now, with the moon in the reverse uh, in your self-perception, you know, I'm picking up on this energy where, yes, somebody is ready to come out of this depressing kind of energy. You're like, you know what? I've had enough. I'm I've, I've done. I'm done with, with the crying. I'm done with, you know, feeling sad, feeling like, woe is me. Yes, this heartache happened. Yes, you know, this, this thing broke apart. Yes, this person shattered my heart. You know, whether this is you feeling this way or the person that you are dealing with, but someone is ready to come out of that energy, which is beautiful, beautiful to see. Okay, great. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love this. Now here for your outside influences, how others see you and how you see others. Yes. Someone is ready to drop the burden. Someone is ready to drop the stress. You want a new life. You want a new beginning, whether it's with this person, if they are now acting correctly. Okay. Only if they're acting correctly. If not, I would never suggest for you to do this. Okay. Or with somebody completely new, but somebody is ready to drop the stress. You're ready to drop whatever was painful before in the past and you're ready for a brand new beginning. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful energy here for your action advice. Okay, so, you know, perhaps you've been waiting for an apology or an offer to come through or just somebody new, you know, for you to meet somebody new if you're online dating. You never know, okay? Um, but it's it's sort of like going to be a little bit of a difficult um, task either for you or for this person to come in or to come through with a solid offer, okay? We're gonna figure out why exactly that is, all right? But it looks here like it's becoming a little bit of a burden for whoever it is that uh, wants to come in with some kind of apology or some kind of offer to actually do it. It's sort of like that situation where, yes, you wanna make the call, yes, you wanna, um, make the move, but it, something is holding you back, okay? There's something holding this person back. We're going to figure out what it is when we get clarifiers, but look at this. Wow, beautiful, beautiful energy. Here for your likely outcome. You could possibly be dealing with an earth sign. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus, okay? But here we have the King of Pentacles in your likely outcome. So you will be coming into your power, into your strength, knowing your worth, knowing your self-worth, whatever it is that you've been through, 
you learned the lessons. The lessons have been learned and you are no longer dealing with that woe is me, you know, um, whatever energy that you were feeling before that made you feel depressed, that's no longer part of your energy in this month of May. And this is beautiful, beautiful to see. You now want a new beginning. You want a new start, whether it's brand new, you know, with a brand new person or with this person, if they're now acting right, excuse me, um, but definitely you are coming back into your power. Oh my gosh, beautiful. You know, this is a person who knows their self-worth. They know their value. They know their strength and they know that, you know, they, they're here. If they're still alive, they're able to manifest whatever it is that they want. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers. I want to get some clarifiers as to what this death card is. Why is this root of the issue? This death card, please. And thank you. Okay, look what we have here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so somebody has been very, very stressed out about the situation. Okay, do I end this? Do I move on? Do I stay? Do I go? Do I, you know, it's like you don't know what to do, whether this is your energy or whether it's the person that you are dealing with. There is one person in the situation that does not know what to do. One part of you or one part of them wants to end it and the other part of them, you know, wants to come back okay, and does not want to move forward, but it looks like there will be some kind of a closing of a cycle. Now, a closing of a cycle here with the world card does not mean, uh, or it does not have to mean like um, ending the connection, ending the relationship. It just simply means ending an old way of, um, of being, okay, an old way of approaching the situation. It's sort of like, um, I'll give you an example. You know, if before you used to, um, uh, let's just say pick this person up because they didn't have a car. Let's just say, you know, an example. Okay. Now you're like, you know what? You're going to have to get your own car. <laughs> okay. If you want to see me now, you can come see me or that kind of situation. Right. Um, or just kind of like just changing a way of being, you know, that's just an example. Right. But this person is very, very stressed out to bring this change along. However, it's, uh, recommended for you to bring this change along because that's the only way that you will get some renewed energy. You're here with this page of wands, the potential is there for this energy to be renewed, for the communication to finally open up with renewed energy. But this person is very conflicted. They're not sure what to do. However, the closing of the cycle will bring in a brand new beginning. Look at this beautiful, beautiful energy, whether it's a, whether if, it, if it's, if it's you wanting a brand new person or wanting just a renewal connection with this person, take it as it resonates. You have the capability, the capacity to do either one. Okay. Uh, especially this week, the energies are here for you this week, helping you. Wow. Oh, beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this um, sacrifice is. Why is this hangman in the reverse? Why is this hangman in the reverse here for the challenge position? Wow, look at this. Okay, yeah. So we have here the five of swords in the reverse, the six of pentacles in the reverse, and the seven of wands. Okay, so, you know, challenging you or this person is not wanting to make a sacrifice. Somebody is being very, very stubborn. They're not willing to make this sacrifice, even though they know they have to do this. Now, um, I'm getting the feeling that this sacrifice is basically dropping their walls and dropping, dropping some kind of, um, some kind of a walls that this person is putting up to guard their heart, to guard their emotions, to guard maybe even their finances, take it as it resonates. Okay. Because guess what? At one point there was an imbalance in the situation and yes, you know what? I, I'm picking up on the energy that yes, I understand maybe there was an imbalance in the situation and, and you are just standing your ground. This person is like unwilling to make this change. Okay. Okay, you are, if this is your energy, then it looks like you have a very good reason. You have a very good reason to stand your ground because it's sort of like, um, you know your worth, you know your value, and you know that there was an imbalance in this connection. And yes, sure, you're going to drop your guard towards this connection, but if you drop your guard, it's to bring in something brand new. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so it's like knowing your worth and knowing your value. And what we have at the bottom of the deck, look at what we have. We have the Hierophant, okay? The Hierophant here, you know, it's talking about commitment. It's talking about the commitment that you did not receive, the commitment that you did not get when you put in all the work and all that effort, okay? Whether this is you or the person that you are dealing with. Wow. 
Oh my God, Some, someone has like um, conviction in their in their energy, like really, really um, strong conviction to uh, get their way, get their way, you know? And if this is you, then great for you. It looks like it's going to work out for you here with this King of Pentacles because it looks like somebody's coming back into their power. But let's go ahead and see what this reunion is all about or this union. What is this Three of Cups here for the near future for my dear Libras? Wow, I'm excited to see what this brings. Okay, wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Are you guys looking at this? This is the four of wands. This is marriage. This is commitment. This is, oh my God, this is like a committed relationship. You guys are bonded together, passionate reunion or union of some kind, okay? After being, yes, hurt in the past, okay? Somebody who was betrayed, yes, you know, somebody was backstabbed, maybe lied to. There was, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of emotional, um, a lot of emotional like depression that this person went through, but it looks like someone is ready to make a decision after a lot of contemplation, okay? This person, yes, they thought about things very, very thoroughly, like, you know, like kind of like, let's see if um, this person changes, and maybe if you do see some kind of a change, you will be welcoming a reunion, okay? Take it as it resonates. If not, then you will be welcoming something brand new. Wow, how exciting. Yeah, and communication will open up. Look at this, in the near future, here with the page of swords communication will be opening up it looks like somebody's stalking you or you are stalking someone okay it doesn't have to be stalker energy um i'm just saying that um you know it's sort of like um a joke between uh tarot readers like this is sort of like that stalker energy somebody's definitely like thinking about making a move or communicating toward um, your way, okay? It's sort of like, um, if you don't have social media, then it just simply means that this person is sitting at home thinking about you 24 seven, trying to figure out how they will communicate with you, how they will present themselves to you, okay? When they, when they do communicate. It's sort of like writing a text message a million times, erasing it, rewriting it, erasing it, rewriting it, you know, before sending it out. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up on, okay? So, but definitely, you know, in your near future, you will be seeing a union or a reunion of some kind somebody will be coming in with some communication and wanting to unite to actually see each other in person I know that it's hard to see um, each other right now but it looks like this person's going to have to you know do something um, that um, that brings in this physical union okay so let's go ahead and see why this four of Pentacles is here why is this four of Pentacles here as the dominant energy for my dearest Libras. Oh my God, I cannot make this up. Okay, so yeah, the reason why this person is being very, very closed off emotionally is because they got hurt in the past, okay? Whether whether this is you, my dear Libras, okay? Or this is the person that you are dealing with, just understand that this is because this person was very, very hurt in the past, okay? Whether it's you again or this other person, somebody is right now working on gathering their strength, gathering their power and their self-esteem, okay? I took a pause there because, you know, I was just like feeling out the energy. This person is feeling, they're feeling very, um, like still a little bit defensive. See how this is very guarded energy here with the nine of wands. This person is still very, very guarded. Okay, very, very, it's just guarding your heart, guarding your your energy. It's sort of like when you've already been beaten down, broken, you know, my God, it's like relationship after relationship. It's like, oh my God, another one and another one and another one, you know? And this person's just finally like, you know what? I'm just done. I'm just done with everything. I'm done with love. I'm done with, I'm done with it all, okay? And that's why this person is taking so long long to open up whether this is you or the person that you are dealing with but guess what at the end of the day this person will do the work and heal themselves in order to come into this beautiful king of wands energy which is powerful powerful high self-esteem you could be dealing with a fire sign it doesn't have to be but if you are it could be a leo uh, an aries or a sagittarius okay and this person is coming out of this feeling stuck situation, you know, feeling powerless, feeling like somebody broke their heart, but it's going to take time. Just remember, it's going to take time. However, I love seeing here this reunion or a union with a brand new person. Now, if it's you that wants a brand new person, then hey, you know what? By all means, okay, by all means, go on a dating site, go on a dating app, you know, update your pictures, do whatever you have to do because love is here, love is there, but you just have to get your self-esteem back in order, okay, back in action for this to happen. All right, let's go ahead and um, see what your, uh, I want to see why this uh, Knight of Pentacles is here. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles as the action advice, please and thank you. What is this Knight of Pentacles? 
Oh my God. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Here we have the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Here we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse as well as the 10 of cups in the reverse. So, okay. I'm picking up heavily on this energy where, um, if this is a person from your past, it doesn't have to be or, um, whatever. Okay. So I'm picking up that there's this person who is still, having this kind of toxic energy to them okay whoever is trying to um come in okay they're not coming in correctly and if they're not coming in right now don't worry because you are safe you are rather it's like rather be safe than sorry right it's like you know like those situations where you're like why hasn't this person called why hasn't this person messaged i already messaged this person i haven't heard from them well guess what the universe is taking care of you okay they're taking care of you they're guarding you because why because this person is still stuck in this toxic energy okay here is a person who is very selfish very very self-indulgent they only think about themselves and they're not wanting an emotional connection all they want is superficial things they just want attention it's sort of like um that person that just wants validation you know like they just want to be surrounded by by people who tell them how lovely they are and how handsome they are and how this and how that you know but at the end of the day this person does not want anything serious okay so if the person is not coming in right now okay and if you've already sent the message if you sent you know the whatever the text and they have not you have not heard back from them you are being protected so don't even push it don't worry you are being divinely guided you are being divinely protected in order for you to heal your heart to heal your self-esteem okay and for you to attract someone new all right now if this is a person that you are still dealing with my dear libra okay it looks like there's going to be you know i'm picking up on two energies there's one person who is still toxic and then there's another person who wants to come in i feel like it's a friend of yours i feel like it's somebody that you it's like a friend that you've never considered as more than a friend, not this person. I'm talking about this person who wants to reuni reunite, you know, because here I'm picking up on a very friendly energy. You know how like earlier I told you I picked up on like friends coming over to your place or them, you know, um, asking you to go over to theirs. Okay, well, this is a friendly energy. Okay, this here is a toxic one. So you're dealing with two energies here. There's two energies here that one of them is sort of stalling, okay? And if they're not stalling on their communication, um, it's because, you know, um, well, what I'm trying to say is if they, they are coming in, they're not coming in correctly. And you know that, you know that. Okay. So there's different scenarios. Okay. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to explain the different scenarios. Okay. So one storyline is basically the toxic person who is not communicating back to you, even though you've already sent the message, etc. Okay. Don't worry. Don't push it because this person is still stuck in this toxic narcissistic energy. Okay. And you don't want that to be a part of you. So don't even push it. It's God taking care of you. Okay. Keeping this person away from you. So don't push it. Okay. Because guess what? There's one person here, another person here who does want to come in to unite with you. And I feel like it's a friend of yours. I feel like it's a friend that you have not seen as more than a friend because they have not communicated to you in that manner but guess what it looks like this person is finding out that they like you as more than a friend that's what i'm picking up on okay wow oh my god you're dealing with two people here oh my gosh you know it could possibly be that fire sign and an earth sign you know it doesn't have to be fire and earth it could just be um here i'm picking up on this energy very heavily where one person okay maybe one one of the people that you are dealing with portrays this very very um kind of like calm energy you know when you're around them you feel very very calm you feel very um th like this is a person who has all of their um like stability basically they they are they're very stable in their finances um they're very stable in their emotions okay and then there's another person who is a little bit more of a player like okay it's sort of like player like behavior very in and out very hot cold that's the person that you want to stay away from okay the person that you know, comes across as very toxic, very narcissistic. They only want attention, you know, um, that's the person that does not want anything solid. Okay. But the other one does, the other one is looking for some kind of a commitment, even though you guys right now are friends. Wow. Or will be friends. Remember it's a new person also that might be coming in. I picked up on that energy heavily when I first started your reading of a new person. Okay. So it might feel like a friendly connection, but they actually want commitment. Okay. But the other one does not. So remember, be discerning be discerning all right wow look at this okay this just popped out seven of cups in the reverse yeah 
So somebody here is ready to drop all of these options and I feel like it's that person, the friend of yours that maybe you kind of just saw as a friend. They're ready for some kind of a commitment or maybe that this might be you, okay? this what One of these energies could be your energy. You never know, energies are fluid, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into your angel messages. Wow, let me know what's going on in the comments below. It looks like you're dealing with like three energies or two energies and then one new one that's going to come in. Okay. So I'm very excited. You know, this month of May, I feel like it's bringing in a lot of new renewed, beautiful energy for a lot of you. Okay. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. So let's see what the angels have in store for you. What do the angels have for my dear Libras for the month of May? Okay, we're gonna get three so whichever ones resonate with you if all three resonate then all three resonate okay wow look at what we have here breathe teaching and learning and overcoming difficulties beautiful beautiful energies wow okay let's start off with breathe look at this this is gorgeous isn't it gorgeous look at this angel it's like i could almost feel him this is Angel Raphael. Breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay, so you know meditation really helps uh, with this uh, if you know anything about meditation. And if you don't, you can um, YouTube just how to meditate, you know, or meditation beginners. And it'll help you with some exercises. Breathing exercises always, always help to release any negative energy that is within you. Okay, so remember to breathe. Remember to calm your energies. Don't worry. Everything will be taken care of. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Now what we have here is teaching and learning. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Okay. Maybe some of you might be opening up to learning something new, maybe a new hobby, a new skill, maybe going back to school. But here we have teaching and learning with Angel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. Okay. So this could also possibly be a twin flame journey. Journey, okay, because I'm picking up heavily uh, on a twin flame journey with that toxic connection that came up. Okay, so remember that if this if this person is still acting, you know, like very toxic and is still stuck in that toxic uh, behavior, just remember, you know, stay away. You don't want that energy in your environment because this is a new month, you know, and you want that new energy to to really revitalize you, okay? And also it could possibly be that you might be picking up on signals that you are a good teacher or that you want to learn a new subject, okay? So take it as it resonates, but this is beautiful, beautiful energy. Now what we have here, look at this. Wow, this is gorgeous. See that angel flying off into the heavens? Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous energy. Overcoming difficulties, Angel Jeremiel. The worst is now behind you. Oh, beautiful message. I mean, what did I tell you? See, whoever's heartbroken is already overcoming this, okay? You're coming out of this situation and you are finally feeling in your power and in your strength with just beautiful, beautiful energy. That's why I don't want you to go back into any negative connections, okay? Overcoming difficulties with Angel Jeremiel. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Wow, beautiful, beautiful energy from your guides from your angels you are being protected you are being divinely guided for something brand new oh my gosh gorgeous energy i do hope that this resonated with you my dear libras let me know in the comments below what's going on okay who are these people that you are dealing with okay or that want to come into your life oh my god i'm so excited to know um and also it, please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it okay hope you did and um if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it really helps me continue um you know delivering these messages for you that hopefully help you in some way on your journey okay and thank you so much for to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. And without further ado, I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. Take very good care of yourselves. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.